Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and jazakumullah khair for staying with us for uh, the continuation of the Ikna Dawa conference. Third, we have Sister Nahila Morales, who is a revert immigrant, Mexican American, Da'iya, humanitarian activist, public speaker, single mother of one, and, it, and is dedicated to serve Allah and His creation. Morales is a globe-trotting da'iya speaking in such countries as Sweden, Colombia, Brazil, and especially her native Mexico. She is also the co-founder of Embrace, which is an ICNA national project created for reverts by reverts that helps provide them with the sense of community, belonging, identity, leadership, and spiritual growth. You may go ahead. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبحان الله وبحمده وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمد رسول الله. جزاك الله خير for this invitation and for this platform. I could not be happier. Um, like Sheikh Jassy said, I love the title. And being a day myself, it's wonderful that we are able to be here today. Um, we are intentional creatures and we should be intentional creatures and in every talk that i speak at i always intentionally say this to us subhanallah wa bihamdi and why do i say this because our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said whoever says subhanallah wa bihamdi 100 times a day will be forgiven all his sins even if they were as much as a foam of the sea so my beloved brothers and sisters, I am intentionally, that's one time that I say it today. And so we understand that Dawa is also, and it should be intentionally or intentional. Dawa, uh, yesterday I was listening to Imam uh, Suhey Boeb as well as Brother Adnan and mashallah, such uh, profound uh, speeches, both of them. Intentionally, someone gave Imam Suhey Boeb a why islam pamphlet intentionally with the intention of conveying this beautiful message of islam that we have been blessed with and so also uh brother ernan you know he was given intentionally dawa through uh, his friend's character and mannerisms and that's something that we have to be very conscious about in our everyday lives but dawa doesn't end there it doesn't end at a Dawa table. It doesn't end with a flyer. It doesn't end here at this conference. As a matter of fact, it begins after we have conveyed the message and we have given someone Shahada. And SubhanAllah, we have seen flocks. We have seen so many people embracing Islam. I have seen, I have given Shahada um, at prison Dawa all over the, the world, at the World Cup, you name it. And it's it's overwhelming, it's joyful, it's something to rejoice. But it's also very detrimental to understand that our Dawa doesn't end there. It actually begins with that Shahada. And I'm gonna repeat that again. Dawa does not end with us getting a white Islam pamphlet or with this conference. Dawa begins at home, but when we're talking about giving dawa with that shahada, who is taking care of that shahada? As I was preparing for this, I am part of many groups on Facebook, many revert convert groups, and subhanAllah, my heart bled when I read the following message. I am not going to mention the brother's name, um, but it was a brother, and I'm going to read this to you, and I want you to please listen carefully. Being a convert for 19 years, I've seen a lot. What annoys me the most is when someone takes shahada or becomes Muslim, everyone is like, ah, how beautiful. It touches people, but only for about 30 minutes to an hour. Once that new Muslim goes away, he or she is all alone to a home where the entire family is against them. Converts rely on born Muslims to accept them and check up on them. Like the Ansar, 
did for the mah Mahajroom. No Eid, no Ramadan events. You guys have failed the convert community. That just struck me, but that solidify my purpose. My purpose of not only conveying the message, but making sure that we take care of one another. We have said this in numerous conventions uh, as Embrace, that the statistics are pretty alarming, very alarming. Seven out of 10 converts end up leaving Islam. That really, and I'm going to repeat that again, seven out of 10 converts end up leaving Islam. So what happens to all of this da'wah that we have been giving for years? SubhanAllah. And so I want to, I want to move on to another story that takes us to Embrace, which is a project of IGNA. Uh, and we are specifically dedicated to convert care. We have been around for about three years consistently been around for three years, mashallah. We are a resource. We are a part of ICNA, uh, alhamdulillah. We are a movement, but more than anything, we are a family. SubhanAllah, we have a sister that came to us a little more than a year ago. She has been Muslim for over 26 years. So the brother previous, the story previous to that was 19 years. This sister, 26 years and was not able to find her place in a community. SubhanAllah, what is that saying about us as a ummah? How can someone be Muslim 26 years and not feel welcome? Like that brother said, you guys are failing us. SubhanAllah, you know, as converts, our Islam is always in question. I'll give you an example that happened just this past past Monday, subhanAllah. And a lot of times it's obviously unintentional, but we have to make sure that we live this purpose, this life intentionally. I was coming back from my daily walk and I see a sister with the hijab. By the way, I went to walk with my abaya in my hijab, so I couldn't look more Muslim. And I see she's struggling with some bags. And I said, sister, salam alaikum, can I help you? And subhanAllah, you know, she greeted me. Walaikum salam. I saw that she was going to my building. I said, are you our new neighbor? And she said, yes. I said, oh, mashallah, welcome. And I said, you look Somalian. I have a lot of Somalian friends. And she says, yes, I'm Somali. Where are you from? And I said, Mexico. She asked, are you Muslim? These are questions that are asked frequently and they become exhausting. Exha we are exhausted to prove ourselves over and over. And so this is why Embrace was created and is here to stay, inshallah. It is a responsibility on each and every one of us to do our part. What is that part? What does that look like? Well, for one, make sure that you welcome your brothers and sisters and that you don't always question about their story. You know how many times I've said my story? I've lost track. And honestly, if you really care about someone, that's the last thing you wanna ask. Why? Because sometimes those stories are painful and we don't have to, we don't want to be reliving those stories over and over again. When we say, Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, Allah forgives all of our sins and we normally are so happy and we stress our joy and we say you know you're like a brand new baby mashallah and babies have no sins therefore i want three recommendations um that i really think important to keep in mind um and i also want to make sure that when you when you hear of a new muslim of a convert um one of our sisters at our Saturday Halakha, she says she doesn't like to be called either or. She likes to be called first generation Muslims like the Sahaba, mashallah, the barakallah. And so for, for, for those watching today, it is truly our responsibility to treat one another the same way we want to be treated. And we say the hadith so loosely, subhanAllah, and we know it left and right, but do we really implement it? I'll give you another example that just happened. And subhanAllah, 
I was in a forum, I was in a talk. And so I spoke up on behalf of the reverts. I didn't feel included in the conversation when they were directing themselves as Daisy and Arabs. And I said, well, I'm neither or, I'm actually Mexican. And so we have to be very conscious. We have to, again, that intentional aspect of it to make sure that we implement the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We understand that there's a hadith that when there's three people, there's two people and a third person comes in and does not speak the language, we change it to the language that everybody speaks. And so these are things, these are sunnahs that need to be implemented because again, Many of you may not know, but just because you hear convert or revert, we don't come from all walks of life. We come with different struggles. Not only um, are our struggles different from our past, but even our present struggles are different. Don't put us in, a, in, in the same basket. We are individual. Treat us as individuals, inshallah. And so um, I would like to, um, before... Uh, uh, I'm not sure. I believe the sister was cut off by accident. Um, inshallah, in the meantime, I'll just do some announcements. Uh, if you guys would like to volunteer for Embrace, uh, all you have to do is visit ikna.org, that's icna.org, slash baraka, that's B-A-R-A-K-A-H, and there you Sorry can sign about up that. to volunteer. Sorry about that internet um, situation here. Um, but just to conclude, inshallah, and I, I, I want you to think, when you think of converts and you think of Embrace, I want you to think of us as a resource. Um, you know, being a third space, this is necessary today because a lot of reverts have been heard as I have shared a couple stories today. And so we are no one's competition. There will be a lot of convert care organizations. We are a movement. We are a family and we are consistent and here to stay. So three things. Make sure that you open your arms and your heart, um, not only with your tongue, but sincerely with your heart. Um, uh, to uh, the reverts and, and your home and invite them. We are, we, we love invitations just like anybody else. Um, we consider you, I personally consider each and every one of you uh, my family. As a matter of fact, you have more rights than my blood family. And this is something that you guys need to keep in mind. SubhanAllah, 1.8 billion Muslims around the world are my family. What great joy. Let's treat one another as family. And last but not least, I want to make sure that, you know, if anything you take from my talk today is ask yourself two questions when dealing with reverts. Would Allah be pleased with me and would the Prophet wasalam, do or ask this? Um, and that will, inshallah, allow us to heal and allow us to grow and allow us to, inshallah, um, you know, uh, grow together as the family that we are um in islam when i remember when i came and i lost friends and i lost family um i knew i made the right decision and a lot of converts question themselves if they made that uh decision correctly and i'll end with this um with this hadith of our beloved prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam. he says if someone does not show mercy to people allah will not show mercy to him so my beloved brothers and sisters, Embrace is here to stay. Make sure that if you know of any reverts, you reach out to us. We are here. We are family. We want to take care of everyone. And alhamdulillah, we are um, a part of ICNA. And so reach out to us. Bismillah. Jazakallah here. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Jazakallah khair for a very inspiring talk. Uh, like I said, if anyone would like to volunteer with Embrace, all you have to do is just visit the website uh, and sign up to volunteer. I know Embrace has uh, chapters all around the country and all around the world there's people accepting Islam, alhamdulillah. So all you have to do is visit ikna.org slash baraka and you can sign up there inshallah.
Jazakallah khair. And inshallah, with that, we will conclude. Once again, you can support us financially by donating at ikna.org slash donate or help uh, volunteer at Embrace, Islam, Gain, Peace, and other chapters uh, by visiting ikna.org slash barakah. Jazakallah khair.